What's up guys, Salty Diver here. It's that time of year again when the temperatures are plummeting. So today we're going to talk about dry suits. We're going to go over how they work, dangers, some common features that you'll see on them, and some of the pros and cons about using a dry suit. Danger. This is not an instructional video. Do not dive in a dry suit unless you have proper training. You will die. I will not be held responsible for your stupidity. First we're going to talk about how a dry suit actually works. In a wetsuit, you're able to stay warm by a thin layer of water covering your whole body. This layer of water in combination with the neoprene gives you fairly good insulation up to a certain point. As the temperature of the water drops, that water in the wetsuit and the neoprene just aren't enough. The dry suit is a whole body suit that seals at your neck and wrists. This allows you to keep a thin layer of air all around your body instead of water. And it works because air has a much lower thermal conductivity than water. This basically means that it has a higher resistance to changing temperature. This air, in combination with dry suit underwear, also called a fancy onesie, does a pretty good job of insulating you against the outside colder water temperatures. So I can describe this to you numerically, I decided to break out the physics book and start running some numbers. The average human gives off about 100 watts of heat at any given time. If we're able to keep that heat around us, we'll be able to stay warm. After running some of the physics, I was able to determine that if you're wearing a 7 millimeter wetsuit in 40 degree water, you would lose heat at a rate of about 388 watts. But in a dry suit with your fancy onesie on, you only lose heat at a rate of about 56 watts. Being as 56 watts is way lower than 100 watts, you will in theory be able to stay warm indefinitely. Now all of this warmth of course comes with a price. If you're wearing a dry suit and you don't know what you're doing, it can be super dangerous. It's not the descent that's bad, it's the ascent. As you descend in the water column, the volume of gas inside your dry suit decreases. But it's the amount of gas between your dry suit and your skin that keeps you warm. So as you're descending, you add more and more gas to the dry suit. But what people don't realize is that as they start to ascend, all of that gas that you put inside your dry suit will start to expand with the alleviating pressure. If you don't know how to bend the suit correctly with this expanding gas, it can lead to a runaway ascent, meaning that you'll skip decompression. Repeat after me. Skipping decompression equals death. So every dry suit will have two main features. And those are going to be your low pressure inflator, where you let air into the dry suit, and your vent, where you let air out of the dry suit. If you're in the market for a dry suit, there's a couple of other features that you may want. The first would be a dry suit with integrated boots. These can really help you save time putting a dry suit on, and it's also nice to not have to worry about losing another thing. Something else you can get is dry gloves. These can either be built in or your dry suit can be modified to have them. So one of the greatest features I think that they're installing on dry suits now is a pee hole. Because let's face it, nobody wants to walk around in a urine soaked fancy onesie. Finally, I want to talk about some of the pros and cons about using a dry suit. We'll start with the pros. The first pro is that you stay warm. The second pro is that you kind of look like a spaceman. Moving to the cons, they're expensive, you have to dive with more weight, they're hard to put on, they're not very durable, the seals tear, and you use more air when you're diving. I honestly hate diving in dry suit. I avoid it at all costs. But whenever the water's super cold, there aren't a lot of other options. I've seen guys get away with wearing a semi-dry and nearly freezing water, but if you get cold easily like me, it just doesn't work. I have trouble staying warm in a dry suit. Are you excited about busting out your dry suit for this winter season? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. If you want to check out some of the heat loss rates that I calculated for common exposure suits, head on over to my Patreon page and take a gander. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Do you want to see more great dive videos every week? Hit the subscribe button. If you have questions about becoming a commercial diver, send them my way. I always respond. So until next time, and as always, stay salty.